Hi class, uh, so this is the explanation video for this solved problem that we were working on at the end of class on Friday. And basically, this is sort of just a, a synthetic problem. Um, these types of, of problems on how to you know, go from one starting material to, to a certain product, these are really um, at the core of this 352 class, uh, an important skill that you need to, to work on and develop. And personally, I found this to be the most difficult type of problem when I was a student. So just trying to help you out in terms of how to get started um, and the, the different strategies that you can you can utilize. So here we've got this sort of funny problem where we're taking this um, alcohol here and turning it into this, so this tertiary alcohol and turning it into this secondary alcohol. Um, and basically we just need to sort of move this OH group from, from here uh, to this other position in our final product. Now the thing that sort of you know, we should sort of be thinking about, I guess, at this point in time is that an alkene is probably going to be involved. We're in chapter eight. Chapter eight is all about reactions of alkenes. It's basically all we've been talking about so far. Um, so it seems reasonable to me to sort of have the idea in the back of our mind that this alkene is going to somehow be involved in this process. Now, I know that that's sort of like a, a less satisfying way to, to think about that or to sort of suggest that that's the way to get started, but really we just need to practice these. The more we see these, the, the better you're going to get at it. So um, practice, please, please practice. So anyhow, trying to think about this from a, a retro synthetic point of view, um, I know that to, to make an alcohol that looks like this, from an alkene that looks like this, I'm going to need to do an anti-Markovnikov addition. And the way that I'm going to do that, I know is going to be hydroboration. Hydroboration. So hydroboration um, oxidation. That's going to be the key to going from an alkene and then doing a, you know, addition, turning an alkene into an alcohol and forming the anti-Markovnikov product. That's what we talked about in class today. Um, and that's going to be how we do this. So then the, the question just remains, how do I go from this alcohol to an alkene? So that's going back to chapter seven. Um, and this is going to be a dehydration. So we've seen this a few times already. And like I said, you know, we sort of have to do this, break this into pieces. It's, it's going to be too complicated to try to do everything all at once. Um, but this is going to be my strategy. So let's go ahead and, and write this out. So step one, I've got my alcohol and I'm going to just put H plus here. So H plus, you know, we can sort of assume that that means uh, strong acid. Sulfuric acid is really the, the most reasonable thing that we're going to be using here. And we're going to show a protonation of that H plus. I've seen this a lot in class where we're drawing the arrow from the H plus and we're saying, well, the H plus goes over here. Remember in organic chemistry, the arrows represent movements of electrons. So we really cannot do that. It's really a big no, no to draw the arrow from the proton going to the oxygen. So um, really make sure that you're, you're drawing your arrows properly. So the product of that reaction, oh, got a little bit of a funky cyclopentane here that will happen. Is this sort of bound water um, structure. Now from here, what I would really prefer us to show is an E1 type elimination. And I'm going to say E1 really because we've got these strongly acidic conditions. In class on Thursday, we talked about how strongly acidic conditions are going to suggest E1 formation of carbocations. So this is the carbocation that I really do think that we should be showing in this case. So from this carbocation, then I'm going to do the elimination to form the alkene. So I personally like doing that with just water, showing that with water molecule. Coming in, abstracting that proton, then these electrons between the carbon-hydrogen bond, they're going to end up forming that double bond for us. So that gives us to this alkene, so that's the end of our first step. In step two, we're now going to take this alkene and we're going to do that hydroboration oxidation. So we're going to use BH3THF for that. And then that's going to lead us to 
some intermediate that looks like this. And then that's going to, again, form this BH2 hydroborated product. From here, it's a simple oxidation. So H2O2 and OH- are the conditions that we're going to show for that. And that's just going to take this BH2 group and turn it into an alcohol. And so here is our final desired product. So it's a two-step process, dehydration to get rid of the water to form the alkene, and then a hydroboration oxidation to form our final product. All right, have a good weekend.